tell us how you first got into politics? Sure. Um, right out of college, I worked on a family friend's campaign. Uh, who and a uh, good friend, Bob Morton, he was running for state representative. And that was 1990. My dad was the local chairman of the Republican Party. And Bob called uh, my dad and asked, uh, do you know anyone that could manage a campaign, my campaign? And my dad said, whoa, Kathy's coming home from college? She doesn't have anything better to do? So that was the beginning. And Bob won. He was elected. He offered me a job. And that was the beginning of me getting involved in politics. Um, and then three years later, uh, he was appointed to fill the Senate seat, and he encouraged me to run to fill his seat in the State House. How did you make the transition from state to national? Well, it, it, it is a, it's a bigger transition than I anticipated. Uh, just the reality of going from a part-time citizen legislature uh, in Olympia, um, you know, and, and I had the luxury of working in Olympia, but also continuing to be involved in my family's orchard and fruit stand. So it really keeps you connected to the people. Um, and I was elected to Congress in 2004. I had uh, served in the State House for 10 years. Um, and ultimately, it was George Nethercutt, who was the former congressman who called, and, and uh, he just uh, thought, you know, Kathy, you do a great job, and you should give it consideration. And um, running for Congress is, it is a, it's a big step, because as state rep, I found that I was, I was very connected to the people. And, and I really got to know the people that I represented. And then you run for Congress, and you're representing 700,000 people, and it's... Uh, it's a lot, and there's a, you know, many more people know you, have a, an opinion about you, than you ever have the chance to really meet. How has being a woman in Congress helped or hindered your efforts? I have, honestly, I think it's been an advantage to be um, a woman, especially within the Republican Party. And I found that both at the state level and at the national level, because it's, um, there's not as many women. Um, there's, a, there's 17 Republican women serving in the, the House right now out of 177 Republicans. So there were, we're right at 10%. Um, and I, I feel like I'm given a lot more opportunities because of that. Um, the Republican Party recognizes that they need to have a more um, broad face. And it means um, giving women the opportunity to be out front, involved in press conferences, speaking on bills. And I, and I really uh, found both at the state level and at the federal level that I've, I've been given tremendous opportunities. I had the opportunity to co-chair the Women's Caucus um, for the, the Republicans. The Women's Caucus is simply made up of all of the women currently serving in the House of Representatives. And there's a Republican co-chair and a, a Democrat co-chair. And I uh, had the, the opportunity to be the Republican co-chair. And that was in uh, the, la the, the former Congress. But it uh, was really a great opportunity to get to know women, uh, both uh, on the Republican side as well as across the aisle on the Democrat side. And we um, agree in that caucus that we're going to focus on issues that, we, um, that bring us together. And, and it's largely focused on um, some of the uh, women in the military issues, uh, uh, promoting, uh, well, domestic violence, um, promoting uh, women pursuing math and science, and, and those kind of issues that we can come together uh, rather than maybe some of the issues that would divide us. Can you tell us about the Down Syndrome Caucus? Sure, sure. Um, Cole, um, our son Cole is almost three years old, and he was born with Down syndrome, which was not what we had expected. And, and yet, um, although it, it's a shock when you hear that news, after you, after you can you know, take some time and get your arms around it, you very quickly you know, determine that you're, 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 you, know, you, you are committed to ensuring that this child reaches their, their full God-given potential. And um, Cole um, is doing very well. I did decide to help launch a Down Syndrome Caucus as a result of uh, becoming a mom and, and having a son with special needs. And um, we just decided to 
focus on some issues particular to Down syndrome and to try to raise awareness and to build support for addressing some of these issues in Congress. And there's uh, four members that co-chair this caucus. These caucuses are very common in Congress and they're uh, they're members from both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats, that come together to focus on an issue. And so the Down Syndrome Caucus, for example, uh, was uh, a, a, a strong supporter of the Kennedy Brownback Bill, which was to give um, more information when there's a prenatal diagnosis of Down Syndrome or, or some other um, um, developmental disability, right? So. Uh, we find that uh, many are choosing just to abort when there's some kind of a diagnosis. Um, and especially with Down syndrome, it's 80 to 90 percent, largely because um, of technology. And, and Down syndrome has really been on the forefront of being able to make the diagnosis prenatally. So uh, it was important to the Down syndrome community that, that we work to not just ensure, that, you know, not just provide for that prenatal diagnosis, but also make sure that parents, when they find themselves in that situation, are given all of the information and made aware of the resources and the support that exists. So that was one example where the Down Syndrome Caucus uh, focused on a, a bill and we got it through. With the hot button issues that are going on right now mm -hmm. in Congress, how can you apply your ideas for free market and free minds to that in your committees or well, just every day? It's, uh, there's, there's opportunities every day. Um, yes, we are, we are in a huge debate right now over health care reform and what is the right approach. And there are some who are advocating for a, a government-run health care system in America. And then there's others that believe that um, by giving individuals and families more choices, making more affordable health insurance plans available to them, um, and making sure that there's competition in the marketplace, that that is actually going to drive down cost and, and improve health care delivery and, and improve the quality of health. And, and so no matter the issue, we, we are engaged in this debate as to what is the right approach. Um, and, and I believe that by empowering the individual, by giving the individual every opportunity possible, um, also holding them responsible, but giving them the opportunities that that is going to serve us best as a country. Um, America has been this great country because um, it's been this land of opportunity. But it's, an, it's, a, it's, it's not a guaranteed success. It's an opportunity to succeed. It's also an opportunity to fail. And, and we need to make sure that we're just uh, focusing on giving people the freedom to make the choices um, that they uh, think are best for themselves and their families, and then, and then allowing them to go, off there and go out there and do great things. You've done a great job putting your message out there through all of your social networking. Uh -huh. But you recently uh -huh. launched a blog, and uh -huh. it's really informative. It's really personal and conversational. Thanks. What other responses have you received from that? Thanks. Well, we're, we're just getting started. I'm excited to have the blog, and we're going to continue to try to build it, uh, make it more interactive. I, I think people right now, um, they don't want to just hear members of Congress talk or have us tell them what great ideas we have. They want to engage. And the blog gives us the opportunity to engage, to um, um, engage with people all across this country, as well as back home in Washington State and Spokane. And I love that, that people can post their thoughts, post articles, and, and we can have a dialogue, which is really important right now in our, our political process.